Hello there, my name is Colin Jones. This video is going to be an overview and a how to use my new Max for Live device, Random Rhythm, which is a recreation of the Vermona module of the same name. So I already have it loaded up here. And the way it works is that you have two channels, sorry, two sections, two rhythm sections, and each section has four channels. Um, each channel has a probability slider and a subdivision amount. And so it's a drum sequencer, so you have to have the transport running to get it to do anything, but you also need to configure the notes at the top to be um, the notes of the, you know, they could be anything, but this is the drum rack, and I have them configured to the notes that I've placed my, um, these are actually external instruments, these are all outputting to um, a Vermona DRM1, um, but they can just be samples, they can be anything. Um, so once you have the notes configured, start the transport and bring in the first channel. And so at 100, there's a 100% chance that it's going to fire. 75, 75% chance. 50, there's a 50% chance, and so on. Um, and so every single quarter note, it's going to generate a new number and compare it to this probability slider, this amount. So as you can see, it's generating these random numbers. Um, a couple notable features is the delay and the delay subdivision amount. So let's put this back to kind of the default settings. When you have this running at the quarter notes, and this is going to match it, we're going to delay it to be on the offbeats. And so I can have it be on... a sub -delay, delay of quarter notes, sorry, half notes, and a delay subdivision, sorry, subdivision of, of half notes and a delay subdivision of quarter notes. So you get that, the two and the four, the snare on the two and the four. So that's, but instead of on the original Vermona, um, you have a offbeat, we have a delay. And so I can delay it by um, 16th notes. Um, and you can mess around with those. You've also got a dice. And this is, takes a little bit of explaining. So when dice mode is on and you've rolled, depending on the time signature, if you're in 4-4, it's going to generate four random numbers for each channel in section A. And you can do this independently of um, for section B as well. And so it's going to generate those four random numbers in 4-4 four, four time signature, and it's going to cycle between them at the pace of the, of the subdivision amount. So if it's in eighth notes, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. So you essentially speed up and slow down the rate of the cycle. Bum 
ba-bum, ba-bum, ba-bum. And in four, four time signature, you're only generating four. But you can go to 10, four, and generate 10. And so it's it's cycling through them at that rate, 16th notes. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, the download link for this is going to be in the description. Um, if you have any uh, requests for features, or if you discover any bugs, or if you know you discover something that might be a bug, but it's actually just the way it is, um, let me know in the comments. Um, so I hope you uh, find this video useful. I hope this reaches more people, um, because this is one of the most fun Max for Live devices I've messed around with. I haven't messed around with too many. I mean, I have some, you know, but, uh, you know, I've never created one myself. This is my first one. And I really wanted the random rhythm, but I didn't want to spend $350 for it. And uh, t it's it's more versatile this way, I believe. I feel like it's, it's much more useful. You can use this. You can route it. You can do a lot with it. So, um, yeah, hope this video was useful to you. Goodbye.